the next topic that is the 14th topic is on factor theorem you have been given a term we need to show that this is a factor of this particular term then find the remaining factors so how this method goes is by division so first for now i will tell you the division method because this method is very important it is there in writing you have to study it so i will tell you the actual method then i'll tell you a shortcut at the end as well now here you have this particular factor which is supposed to be a factor of this now what does factor mean now imagine the number 42 now 42 6 7 is a 42 so I know 6 into 7 is 42 that means both 6 and 7 are factors of 42 when I multiply them I'm gonna get 42 similarly now I know this term instead of 42 this is the term big term I know there is one number that is 6 plus 8 and there are other another one factor which is that factor that is what we will have to solve which do you have to multiply to get this term there might be two factors as well so instead of six i can write three into two into seven three terms as well so you can split this again and have three terms as well so we will see this now uh, okay i forgot to tell you one more concept so now over here how do i find if i know six already i can just divide 42 by six and you will get seven you will get the remaining factor isn't it that is what we will do we will divide this by x plus 8 and we will get it we will use synthetic uh, division instead of the long division because it's much quicker so in synthetic division whatever is the value you need to take the opposite sign of x basically what is x plus 8 we need equated to 0 so x is equal to minus 8 so take that minus 8 value over here and divide we don't put the co uh, variables just the coefficients we have to write 2 15 minus 11 and minus 24. the step one is bringing this down over here as it is 2 comes down then once this is down all you need to do is multiply it with negative 8 and then write it over here so multiply 2 times negative 8 it's negative 16 write it over here now you need to change the sign uh, oh sorry not change the sign it is add just add them up okay so what happens minus 16 plus 15 is minus 1 now same procedure repeats you you need to keep on doing this this multiplied by this write it over here add it up and same thing goes again so minus uh, 1 times minus 8 is 8 add them up it'll be minus 3 write it over here and then it goes over here negative 24 uh, negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24 add them up you'll have zero now what how do you find it's a factor whenever the remainder is zero it is a factor if the remainder was something then no it is not a factor now 42 divided by 6 is equal to 7 okay this is a factor of 42 but what about 42 divided by 5 it'll be 8.4 when you have decimal no it's not a factor it's a if it was 40 then yes it was a factor but that that's how we understand you should not have remainders so when remainder is there you get the decimal right so we here uh, there is no remainder the last part is the remainder that's zero so that means because the remainder is zero this is yes a factor and then what is the answer over here we got uh, this will be the constant term last one is remainder gone constant x x square if there was one more term over here it'd be x cube and so on so this is the uh, this is the factor so now you can write them as like this so that is it so basically that is your answer now you can simplify this further as well the second part you know here this factor so now over here this can be reduced into this now how they are doing is basically splitting the term in the middle and taking common out now you have 2x squared minus x minus 3 now this is a bit tricky method basically you need to split this x in such a way that uh when you sorry look at these two constants at the a constants constants at the end over here multiply them what is the answer it is six now and what is this term over here it is minus one 
So you need to get two numbers. When you multiply, you need to get six. And when you add them, it's minus one. So if you're solving this, that is the way. Uh, you, you need to ke uh, keep trying, uh, trying the numbers. It's You can easily understand it's three and two. So over here, it is minus six, my bad. It's minus six, minus three times two is minus six. So you can do this, minus three times two. So minus three times two is minus six and you get negative one. So the factors to uh, change this is two x squared minus two x. Uh, and then you can write, sorry, it's plus two x or you can write minus three, it doesn't matter much. It'll be the same answer. Now you need to remove the common terms. What is the common terms? Two x is common over here. So you can remove two x and x is remaining plus one minus 3 is common, you will have x plus 1. Basically, now your one factor is x plus 1 and the other factor is the outside terms because you can remove this again common out, you will get 2x minus 3. So this is how this step is involved. But I'm sure this is much confusing and irritating. But I'll tell you another shortcut method for this, the calculator method as usual. So now over here, you need to press more, phi and 3. And here, put in the coefficients. It's 2, minus 1, and minus 3, isn't it? What is the answer you get? You get x is equal to 3 by 2. And then what is another answer? x is equal to minus 1. Now, bring this inside. It's very easy. x plus 1. This is a factor. You have to bring it inside the equal to. But what will happen if you bring over here? It will be negative 3 by 2. But instead of that, you take this 2 to the other side first. Don't just get inside. First, make this division to multiplication. When you get this inside, it'll be 2x is equal to 3. And now bring this inside, it's going to be 2x minus 3. So this is another way to get the factors. So uh, this is the easier method. But just be careful because it's a factor. You need to uh, first bring the 2. It'll be multiplication, 2x, and then minus 3. So you will get, get it easily in calculator. So now let me recall from where to where. First thing, divide, you will get this factor. That is the answer. Over here, whatever you got, x square and x over here, this is the answer. And this was the factor because the remainder was zero. But now if they are, if this is not there in the options, then that means this needs to be simplified further. And then you will get the answer. So this is the thing. But now I will show you some more shortcuts if you don't want to do this division. So basically over here, these are the factors. Try them by yourself, but there's one more shortcut method. Now you will have four options, isn't it? You will have four options with you. So what you can do is, it's a long method. So that's why, you know, uh, it's better to do, do division. You will save time. Why this is the long method means you need to solve all the four options. Basically, this will be your option, some other four options, right? Solve them up. What is this? This is basically x minus 1. In, let me write it properly. It is basically, I'll just write it over here x minus 1 two times okay x minus 1 you can use the foil method or you can use the quarter a, a minus b the whole square formula it's up to you you can multiply this like this or i'll just use the a minus b the whole square formula it'll be a square minus 2ab that is 2x plus b square that is 1 so this will be the answer now what I need to do is, whatever the factor is given, this is the factor they have told, right? Needs to be multiplied to this. So I will just multiply. So multiply over here, over here, over here. So it'll be x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 2x squared again. Because over here now multiplying 2 inside. And then we have minus 4x lastly plus 2. Now here minus x squared. 2x squared plus 2x squared cancels. You are remaining with x cubed. And then you have plus x and minus 4x. How much is it? Minus 3x. And lastly, you are remaining with plus 2. Now, this must be the question. And it should be. If this is the question, yes, that's the correct answer. Otherwise, that is wrong. So now, now here, basically, whatever you see can be matched. 
the problem with this method is you will have four options right you need to do the multiplication for all the four and then check the correct answer so it takes time if you're quick in multiplication do that but now for example over here now simple uh, okay over here there is so many terms right so you need to first multiply these two terms and then with this given factor you will get the answer but if you have the answer with you then it's easy because we know this is the correct answer so i'm directly going with this otherwise it's a guessing game you need to start solving the four options and then you will reach to the correct answer so this is the method shortcut method i mean it's not shortcut it's long itself but the best way is to do the uh, now over here also what you can do is you can factor it out and you will get this right and then you will have much better understanding of the factors if you're multiplying these two you'll get this so what i'm trying to say is if you do the division and you get a complicated term then it's fine just solve all the answers and match with this that will be your answer if all of these is being just confusing then you will have to do the synthetic division try to study the synthetic division method because you have to do it in the writing part so do the synthetic division find the answer and factor it out as uh, simplified as possible and that would be your answers so this is the given term and these these two are the found out term so this this and this are the factors of this particular question and if you multiply all the three factors you will get the main term that's the question so that's how you solve this Please try more problems and then check the answers over here.